trainer, Varley Pasternak, in the house. It's always a party when you come and visit us, especially when we talk about your book. Okay, so you, we've talked about the Body Reset Diet before on the show. These are great meals that you can do to sort of kickstart your fitness regimen, your, your, your healthy eating, and it is doing amazing in Canada. Canada loves this book. Tell yes. me how well it's doing. Well, the, the book has done well in the U.S. We're on the New York Times bestseller, but in Canada, amazing. this book for a period of this year was actually the number one selling book in the entire country, so thank you very much, Canada. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. Give him a big hand for Thank that. You. That's a big deal. That's Thank a big you. deal. So many fitness and heart books come out all the time. But, but these books come out all the time, and it doesn't matter how many books are on the market, how many DVDs, how many infomercials. Every time I step foot in the gym, yes. I see people doing the craziest stuff ever to their bodies. I have no idea where they come up with this technique, but I think we're going to go over some movements today. Yeah, it's always helpful, I think, to get a bit of a refresher because if your form is off and you guys say it all you're the time, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. You're going to hurt something, and you're not going to get the results that you need. We and saw somebody walking for. backstage like this. They said, "What was that?" They said, "PX90." They did some <laughs> yes. home, right? Yes, yeah, so. an hour and a half of everything crazy and really grueling, but you have to do it right. So let's go through. First one, lunge. Let's go through. Okay, the so lunch. you show me a lunge. Stand right over here. You're going to lunge for it, and I'm going to tell you what most people do wrong. So okay. the first thing that people do wrong, a lunge is great. It hits your butt. It hits the back of your thigh, the front of your thigh. Is and your technique is wonderful as oh, always. Oh, thanks. The mistake Harley. a lot I was of people totally make. Totally fishing for that and hoping he was going to say that. Is as they lunge, their knee goes too far forward. Like this. And when your knee goes past your laces, you put a lot of stress on the knee joint. Right. So it's important that as you lunge, you basically are stepping forward. Freeze when you step, freeze, and then drop straight down. Right. And then back to the beginning and switch sides. Step, drop straight down, and back to the beginning. Now, if you have knee problems, a lot of people have trouble getting into this position. Yeah. Try doing a step up on the block. Okay. So do the same thing. Step onto it, sink down, and back up. And what's great about this is it gives you even more of a hamstring and butt stretch, and you can make the block higher, and you can use a set of stairs at home. It gets easier and easier. Now. Like a lunge, a lot yeah. of people make a problem doing a squat. Okay, so a squat is a really important one because you're, you're using all those big muscles. Yep. It's good for the booty, ladies and That's gentlemen. Right. So you want to make sure you're doing it right, but I guess... Here, freeze. What do you I'm going to show you this the squat? easiest thing in the world. Okay. Okay, have a seat. Okay. Just have a seat. Okay, stand up. Have a seat. Stand up. This is perfect technique Ooh. for a squat. It is the simplest exercise to learn. You know, everybody in the audience right now, stand up. Stand up. You guys have to do Sit down. Two. two more. Stand up. <laughs> Sit down. One more. Give yourselves a round of applause. You Yay! just perfected the squat. It's Yay! that easy. Now, as you become fitter, yes. what we're going to do is we're then going to turn the box to make it a little lower. Oh, boy. So this makes it. <laughs> you either need a much bigger butt or a higher box. <laughs> I want to go for the bigger butt. Actually. This makes it more, you do not need to use weights for quite a while. Right. The truth is, there's ways That's to make serious. this exercise more intense without doing that. Now, let me show you how to make it more intense again. Now, watch this. You ready? Not I'm going sure to bring it I back here. It more, okay. Have a seat. Yep. Now, only with your left foot. Took your right foot off the ground like this. Yeah. Step, step up. I don't think I can. Try. Okay. Ready? Lean forward. And ah! There you go. And back down. Try okay, it again. You'll get again. used to it. There you go, single leg squat. So we've made it more challenging again Ooh. without making it dangerous, without adding any weights. Now we're doing one leg at a time. Should so, we make them do this? Right? Just joking. Just joking. I'm good. Okay, the okay, next thing we have one. to show you, the next yes. thing we have to show you is a crunch. Crunches. One of my biggest pet peeves is a crunch. By the way, I do not like crunches, okay? They're not crunches, good, are they? Here's why they're really bad. Hands behind your head. Yep. The, the first problem people make is they yank their head up. Yeah. And they strain their cervical spine. And it's more of like a neck crunch than it is an abdominal crunch. And the other thing they do is they're shortening their midsection. Like this? So, yeah, you're shortening your midsection. So we want to be longer. We want to lengthen everything. We want to open our midsection up. When right. you overdevelop the muscles in the front of the abs, you tend to really contract them and shorten them. So it's really important we stretch things out. What I'd prefer you to focus on is the opposite. So if you actually turn over and do a Superman. Okay. Okay, so slide back a little further. We don't hit the coffee table. Make sure you move all coffee tables away from your workout space. <laughs> Lay so down. That's oh wow, that's really difficult. No, that's Are way above. Wow. Look okay, at, I thought these that were That's like Cirque du Soleil stuff. No, no down okay. all the way. <laughs> all right, put your arms forward. Okay. Now, yeah. in, when I say go, lift your arms and thighs off the ground. Up, down, up, 
down without stopping. Up, Superman. down. So now what we're doing is actually opening the midsection and, and lengthening it. This is even more important than crunching, 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 and shortening the front of your body. Very okay? good. All very important. Now, and you while, do feel that. While we're down on the ground, yeah. show me one push-up. Okay. Okay? Let's see a push-up. Up and down. Perfect. That's the last time I want to see you do a push-up. Why? I hate push-ups. I'll tell really? you why. We spend our entire life doing everything in front of us, right? Right. Typing on our computers, driving cars, on our phones, and we tend to be very close. Right. When you do a push-up, you are strengthening all the muscles in the front of your body and you are making your shoulders even more closed and rounded. I actually have that problem. Yes. Like I don't know. even <laughs> I can't even I can barely even uh, like push them back. My so shoulders. So what I'm going to have you do is stand up all the way for a okay. second. We're going to work on posture and everybody when we're done today you need to do this. I want you to grab your two fingers here, grab your hand, straighten your arms as long as you can. See how the shoulder blades come back here? Yeah. So this is something, whenever you're standing around, instead of standing like this, I want you to have your arms straight, straighten everything out. This is the posture you should be getting used to and not the push-up posture where you close everything up. You guys do it, see how natural it feels. <laughs> no, but this is actually how we want to be walking around. Please give a big hand to Harley Pasternak. Thank you. Teaching us how to stand properly. Harley, thank you. Awesome. Let's go to break. We've got more coming.